Well, hello and welcome to Launch with Camille channel, a channel that helps female entrepreneurs create wildly successful digital products. I'm Camille Victoria and in this video, I'll be taking you through 50 digital product ideas to get you started and that you can create today and put money in that pocket. That's right. So I've got a lot to get through here. I've compiled this master list of 50 digital products. So make sure that you stick around to the end. I've got some fantastic ones there for you. So if you are thinking of creating that extra income for your business, maybe, or you just wanted to have a little dabble in um, digital products, then this is a great video for you. If you like my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I would love to share more with you. So let's get going. We've got 50 digital products. Great Grab yourself a lovely drink, sit down and let's get going. Number one is blogging calendars. Now I love this idea because if anyone struggles with content, especially content creators might struggle with this idea is actually coming up with blog ideas and staying on top of posting, you can actually create a calendar that prompts ideas and helps creators to stay on track. So number two, wedding planners. So the wedding industry is so popular. You've got it generating $60 billion a year to help brides not turn into the bridezilla. Yes, I've been one of those before. Creating a planner that actually helps them stay on track, provide helpful information, keep on task, and keep everything completed. Number three, daily planner. Daily planners are actually the top selling product on Etsy at the moment. So all you need to do is have a solid design, organized layout, and you can change this as many times as you want. So you just have to change up the colors. And there you've got a full Etsy shop with products that are selling. So number four then is content calendar. So actually this is slightly different from the blogging calendar as you're just making it for content creation only. So only for, you know, social media posts. So you can just create a beautiful, stunning content calendar. So number five is school calendar. Hands up mums who love planning for their children. Yes, that's definitely me. So the planners that actually kids get at school are not really pretty. So if you can put together a pretty design that's easy to download, then the mums will love it. Number six is medical planner. So for anyone that may be uh, post-surgery or has to think about daily vitamins and taking those tablets. Um, it's a bit like a carer's guide, a planner that lets people keep track of their medications. Medical planner is definitely one. Okay, so number seven is travel planner. Who loves a travel planner? I definitely do. I love traveling the world. Um, traveling can be really, really stressful and often small details that get overlooked. Actually having a planner that maps out all the details and helps someone plan their perfect vacation is the ultimate planner, I think. Number eight, Instagram templates. So story and feeds. Um, I mean, that's what I do. I create templates and I sell them on Etsy and they are mainly for Instagram, um, Facebook, all social media posts um, and blogging. And if you can stand out from the crowd, you are going to do really well on that. So check out my shop if you haven't seen it already. It's the launch shop. Might give you some ideas there. Number nine, website templates. Designing websites is so time consuming and you need to have that knowledge. Sometimes you even need to have coding. But if you're good at designing, maybe you could actually create a website template for Wix, maybe WordPress, Shopify, any other providers, if you can think of that. Number 10 is Facebook templates. You can actually create just templates based on Facebook and thinking about Facebook ads and really going into detail about what works and finding out what works for your customer and then selling those templates. Number 11 is ebook templates. These are so popular and this is actually the first product I sold on my Etsy shop. So actually creating the template so no one has to worry about doing that design work or thinking where the actual text is going to go. You set that all up for them um, and it just cuts down their workload for them. Number 12 is resume templates like CV templates. So if people are looking to get a job and you've actually created this template for them that looks pretty and stands out to an employer. Um, so lots of job seekers looking for that particular template, then that is a great one to actually have. 
Number 13, logo templates. Now, lots of people actually struggle with coming up with concepts for logos. So if you've actually made pre-designed logos, put in their color for their brand, edit it really quickly, they are really good at selling. Number 14 is digital prints. Now lots of people, and this is so popular now, want to have digital prints on their wall, whether it's in their office, whether it's in their living room, anywhere around the house, they are selling like hotcakes. So if you can make something stand out, creating a digital print, you can actually set it up so they actually print on demand on an automated service. Digital prints are great if you're very creative and you want to go down that route. Number 15 is stickers. Now, if you're a designer and you like making fun creations um, and you love getting on your laptop and doing that, then maybe think about creating stickers, okay? So stickers that people can put on their cars, on their laptops, on their notebooks, anything. Think about what other stickers that you can actually create. Number 16 is SVG files. Design something that DIYers would love to put on their cup, hat, shirt, or bag. So think about that. Number 17, fonts. Fonts are so popular. And if you've got really good handwriting, you can easily upload your writing as a font. These are selling so quickly. Take a look at this one on Creative Market. So that is a great one if you're good at handwriting. Number 18 is phone wallpapers. So designing a fun background image that people can actually have on their phones. If you were able to create a template design for that, so it might be that you create a vision board template for people to put on their phone. So when they open their phone, they get inspired or quotes or things. Number 19 is Lightroom presets. So you've probably know about these. They're very, very popular. They're basically filters that you can actually have over your pictures to make them look really, really pretty. So actually having those to sell on Etsy um, is a really, really nice idea. Number 20 is Procreate brushes. So Procreate is one of the most popular tools that designers use at this moment in time. If you have a way to sell your favorite brushes or strokes or tools that you've designed, make sure that you sell them now and get them onto Etsy. Number 21, stock videos or pictures. So grabbing your camera, if you love using the camera and taking pictures or videos, that could work great for stock images, make sure that you pop them on there. People are wanting new photos. I mean, there's lots up there at the moment, but if you can create different designs that are gonna stand out, and also for businesses, those pictures that businesses would like, they will be really popular. 22, coloring pages. Coloring pages in stores can often be really, really simple and really boring. So if you can design a page that really is going to make people want to color in, like adults, they absolutely love those, those coloring books and also children. So you can actually make ones like that. 23 is greeting cards. I've always wanted to create a store for this. So never find the right card in Hallmark design and sell your own. If you've got an eye for creative and you like writing as well, you can put a little um, caption in there, then start creating greeting cards. 24 is wedding invitations. As I mentioned before, the wedding invitation industry is booming at the moment with over $60 billion a year. So putting your design skills in, and testing and creating those gorgeous wedding invitations that you can use. Now, if you're struggling for inspiration or don't even know how to create a wedding invitation, then make sure you check out my video, which I'll link down below, on how to create wedding invitations in Canva. Number 25, halfway through, we've got icons. Icons, if you can create icons that look different, people love them, they put them on their website and landing page. 26 is stationery, personalized stationery that people can print out right at home. They love that. So 26 stationery, go for that. 27, branding mock-up. Making it easy for people to create their own brands by having pre-made branding templates available for purchase is a no-brainer. Definitely branding mock-ups if you can put those together. 28, NFT art. NFT are all the range right now. If you're a good designer, play into the buzz and design some funky work and you can get them sold online. 
29 tattoo designs. I have them, maybe you have them. I love tattoos. So if you're able to design a simple and cute tattoo, sell it digitally. Number 30, business cards. Everyone needs them, and especially when starting out their business. It's hard. If you can make it easier for people and more affordable to actually create them and customize these business cards, then this is a great niche to get into. 31, nutrition plans. I'm always looking to kickstart and get into action with losing weight. Um, so if you can actually create a tracker process, a weekly or monthly basis, and so you can upload and sell that to Etsy, that's a great plan, a nutrition plan. 32 is workout plan. So creating a program that others can benefit from and creating a community around it, a workout plan. They've got a gorgeous one here, get inspiration, and then get creating. 33 is a wellness tracker. So people love tracking their progress and giving them a pretty and organized place to do it in is great. 34 is a habit tracker. So changing people's habits. I need to do this. Creating a tracker will always hold people accountable and make it easier for them to knock out these stubborn habits. So create a habit tracker. 35 is create prints for print on demand. So putting your design on Etsy, you can get them printed on demand on t-shirts, coffee mugs, phone cases, hats, anything else you can think of and you can get them customized for people to print off. 36, crochet patterns. So coming up with original crochet patterns to sell or sell grandmas, pass it on. There we are. Try and find some information from her and then pass it on, sell it. <laughs> 37 is embroidery patterns. So embroidery is coming back. It's making a comeback. Put your patterns online and be appreciated by the larger community. 38 is clothing patterns. Giving people a new pattern that they can use to add an article of clothing to their closet. 39 is doll pattern. So I am always looking for things to do with my kids. And mum's always thinking that. So uploading a doll pattern that you can actually make fun and creative and do things on a rainy day with the kids, it's a great no-brainer. Number 40 is virtual activity sheet. If you are a parent and you're listening to this, then you know that there is nothing more valuable than keeping your little ones entertained. So actually creating activities for kids that can actually do things at home is fantastic. So a virtual activity sheet gets me super excited. Next one then is number 41 is ebooks. Now this is not an ebook template, this is an actual ebook. So if you're planning to write a book but you don't want to go into creating a 365 page, then you can actually create just a very short guide. I mean if I was thinking about learning something, I would want to learn it really quickly. I wouldn't have to want to read a massive book about it. If you can give me some knowledge that I could read really super quickly in an ebook and start making transformations from, then this is a great product to sell. Number 42 is city guides. If you live in a popular city or are very familiar with one in particular, you can put together recommendations of where to stay, go to eat or what to do. Everyone loves reading that and if you have particular knowledge about your area, go for that. 43 is beginner's guides. So whatever you're good at, break it down into simple steps for someone who is just getting started. So it might be that a beginner's guide on how to cook spaghetti bolognese, for example. 44 is video graphics. So YouTubers are going crazy for pre-made information and templates. So if you can just create them, they can just drag and drop their picture into and you've done all the graphics for them, they will go down a treat. 45 is app. If you are big at coding, building an app, solving problems or providing entertainment, then an app would definitely be the way forward. 46 is music. So if you're a musician, you love creating sound effects, sounds or instrumental tracks that people can purchase, then this is great. You will definitely stand out from a crowd. 47 is meditation audio, selling 10 to 15 minutes worth of audio recordings of meditations and mindful exercises is super popular. 48 video animations. This is a great idea and I was thinking about this the other day. It's actually people creating these 
animations and doing these automations for companies and personalizing them, that is big money. So if you're thinking about, and you're really good at creating videos, then think about how you can use your expertise and get it across your audience. 49 is code snippets. Are you good at coding? I'm really, really bad at coding, can't do it. So creating types of code that actually solves typical problems or code that customers can use on their own websites. So think about that. And the final one, which I absolutely love, is number 50, which is online courses. Creating your course that is your profession and using your expert knowledge to share that with the world um, is a great one to finish on. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you do subscribe to my videos to find out more about tips and tricks of how to create a passive income online. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye bye.